Eira ana bishne has. Ya sarveira ana bishne has. Tat tat prapta shuba subam. Tat tat prapta shuba subam. Na abindati na dvishti. Na abindati na dvishti. Tasya prajna pratishtita. Tasya prajna pratishtita. Arjun, he is without affection on any side who does not rejoice or loathe as he obtains good or evil, his intelligence is firmly set in wisdom. People think, how can one leave both good and evil? We hear a lot about saying, staying away from evil things. We're always told to leave activities that are bad. But Shri Krishna is also telling us here, we have to leave the good. Why should one also leave the good? We are trying to understand this in two ways. First, through the way of knowledge. Uh, first, Knowledge. Brahma Rupta, the state of, uh, before we go into that, just want to talk about this thing that Sri Krishna mentions. Brahma Shtiti. Sri Krishna is talking about all throughout these verses. He was saying in the last um, chapter, Esha Brahma Shtiti Partha Nena Prapta Vimoyati. One can eventually get this Brahma Shtiti, which means the bliss of God, but there's also times when one gets the state by all of a sudden, like um, out of nowhere. Um, firstly, the first stage where one gets it is liberation. Secondly, when one achieves samadhi. And thirdly, when one is asleep. In all three of these situations, the individual situation can experience brahmastiti, which is a state of oneness with God. We become one with God at these three stages. The first is liberation. The third is samadhi. Uh, second is samadhi. And the third is when one is asleep. First, with liberation. One can be liberated during one's life and one can also be liberated after one's death. In a majority of cases, liberation, mukti, takes place after one's death. We do not even know what the experience of liberation after death will be like. And it's not even possible for us to know because we don't know what's going to happen after our deaths. So we put this to one side. Secondly, with samadhi, we achieve brahmastiti. During samadhi, the individual soul takes the form of the Supreme Soul. The effects of this also come while one is conscious. And the third is that when we're in Brahmastiti, which is a, in the mode of Dona, Stamsi, is every night when we're asleep. We are one with the Supreme Soul when we're sound asleep at 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. And everyone experiences this in the sleep. At that point during our sleep, we are above all of these states. We are never sad when we get sorrows, as I said in this verse, and nor we're happy when we get pleasures. We have no passions, no fear, and no rage, no fears and no rages. Therefore, in our sleep, we're in Brahma City. From the non perspective, how can we achieve such a state in our sleep? It's when we're free or when we're awake. When we're free from both good and evil. When we're having evil thoughts, then we won't get good sleep. But also when you keep doing good getting good thoughts, even then we will not get good sleep. In this state of sleep, in this dull way, the tamasic way, to achieve oneness with the Supreme Soul, one will have to go beyond good and evil, then how much more would one have to renounce both good and evil for the sattvic good state of Ramasiti while we're awake? We will have to leave both good and evil, and this is understanding it by the way of Gnan, knowledge. Secondly, we have to understand why we should renounce good and evil in simple terms. That's the way of knowledge. In simple, common terms, for example, there's a person in the house and there's a fire in that house. If he runs out of the house quickly, then he's going to get saved. However, before running out of the house, he, he thinks that he has to grab some of these things first, then he will think only of the good things he should take. If one starts talking about the, thinking about the rubbish he should take from the dustbin before he goes outside, then he'll get stuck there forever. He'll get burnt in that fire. However, if he starts thinking about the good things, he will also be stuck there forever because there's a fire in the house. 
Either way, if one takes good things or bad things with him, then he will not escape. He'll stay in the fire. There's only one way that he'll be able to save himself. He would have to leave both good things and bad things and just leave the house. That is why Shri Krishna is saying here that we have to leave both good and evil. You have the opportunity to be liberated and like any bond, human being can have bondage to good evil things, a human being can also have a bondage to good things because of ego. I'm doing so much for charity. I'm doing so much of this. That's called bondage. In Brahma City, there cannot be any bondage to anything and therefore Sri Krishna says that both should be left behind. If you wish to have steps to get to liberation, the first step would be to leave evil. The second step will then come where you have to leave good as well and only then can you be liberated. Such a person is Sthita Pragna, settled in intelligence. When a person finds about his purpose, his personal and his social duty, then both good and evil will automatically go away. There's an event in the Ramayan where King Janak was coming to the ceremony, coronation ceremony of Sri Ram after Ram and Sita and Lakshman Hanuman had come back to the kingdom of Ayodhya after 14 years um, in, in the forest. So the coronation ceremony was going on. On the third day, King Janak departs and tells his uh, Sita's father, we talked about him in detail in the last class, he tells Sita Ji that he's going. Sita Ji asks him to stay behind. Janak said no because his duty is pulling him away. In our scriptures, any king has three days of leave where he can go away from the affairs of the kingdom. But on the fourth day, he must go back and fulfill his duties, attend to his duties of the kingdom. It's different when there's a war. Obviously, he has to stay up for longer. But otherwise, a, kingdom, a king cannot be away from the kingdom for more than three days. What must have been going through Janak's mind? Would he have not have had those feelings that he wanted to spend time with his daughter? Would he not been thinking about all these things his daughter had to bear through for 14 years in the forest? Also for the fact she was abducted from Ravan. The same daughter was seeing a father and the father had to go after three days. There was a coronation ceremony and therefore she would not even have had time to spend with the king in three days. And Janak told Sita he would have to live, leave. You must first give priority to your duty and only then you'll be stable in intelligence. See, Janak left evil, but he also left good. And that is why Janak is praised so much. Vidai, verse 58.